In this discussion video, we will talk about log rules. So I need to begin by stating some preliminary information. So I'm going to let x and y be positive numbers or greater than zero. And these are some of the numbers I'm going to plug in to these log functions. b and c are going to be some of the bases of the logs that will show up. And those need to be greater than zero as well. And b and c cannot be equal to one. So there's four main log rules. The first one says if you have log base b of x to a power p, you can take that power and move it in front and get p times log base b of x. The second log rule says if you're adding two logs and the bases are the same, you get to combine it into one log, so log base b, and then multiply their insides. So you get x times y. The third log rule is really similar to the second one, except I'm subtracting two logs with the same base. And this combines into one log as well, except now we divide the inside. So we'll get x over y. And then finally, this last property is called the change of base log rule. And it will let us rewrite this log, log base b of x, in terms of a different log base. So I'll get a fraction. And on the top, I'll get a log. And on the bottom, I'll get a log. And I can make the base of the log whatever I want, as long as I pick the same base on the top and on the bottom. So I'm going to call that base C. And then on the inside of the log on the top, I have to put this number x. And the inside of the log on the bottom, I have to put the b. And with the change of base rule, the way I personally remember well, what goes in which parentheses is it the x on the top or the x on the bottom is, if I look at my original log, the value that's sort of written higher up on my page, higher up on the page, goes on the inside of the top log. So x is written higher up on the page, because the b is written all the way down here. So x gets written on the top log, b gets written on the down log. This is how I pers it's a little shortcut for me to remember, well, what goes where? All right, so next let's try a practice problem. So this is question from the first, from worksheet number one that's posted on B courses. And we're going to look at problem number two, parts A and B. So A says, I have log base six of 72 minus log base six of two. And I need to simplify and evaluate this. And I want to begin by giving you one minute to try this on your own first. So pause the video in four, three, two, one, pause it and try this for one minute. Remember that really seize this time to tr try this question on your own. This is the most important time in our class sessions. It gives you an opportunity to assess how well you understand these concepts and, and can apply them. Alrighty, so hopefully you did that. Hopefully you tried it for about a minute. Let's talk about it together. So we are going to use this third log rule. I have a log minus a log, and they got the same base. So I can combine it into one log, and I divide the insides. So I'll get 72 divided by 2. So this gives me log base 6 of 36. So let's say I want to know what this is. I'm going to let log base 6 of 36 be equal to x. And then I can transform this and write it in exponential form. So this is equivalent to 6, the base of the log becomes the base of the power. And then the input and the output get switched. So the x becomes the input now. It's going to be the power. And the 36 becomes the output. So I really need to know 6 to what power equals 36. And that's, that power is 2. And that's, that's my answer. That is what this log expression simplifies to. It just simplifies to 2. All right, let's look at part B of this problem. I have log base 6 of 5 plus log base 36 of 1 over 900. OK, so for this one, I want you to pause the video for three minutes to try it on your own. 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause it and try this one for three minutes. This one's more challenging, so I'm giving you more time to think about it. Alrighty, so hopefully you did that. Hopefully you paused it for three minutes to try it. If not, go ahead and do that now. It's really important. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about it together now. So one of the key things 
that makes it difficult to combine the logs right now is the fact that they have different bases. So when logs have, let me zoom it out a little bit, when logs have different bases like this, we often want to try using change of base to make the bases the same so that we can do things like add the logs together and multiply their insides or, or divide their insides if we're subtracting. Okay, so I'm going to pick one of these logs to change the base on. And it doesn't really matter which one I pick. So let me just keep the first log the same, log base 6 of 5. And then with the next log, I'll use change of base. So I'll rewrite it as a fraction. I'll get a log on the top, I'll get a log on the bottom. And I could let the base be whatever I want, as long as I pick the same thing on the top and on the bottom. But it's going to be most helpful if I pick the same thing as the other log base that's in the problem, which is 6. So I'm going to pick 6 for the base of this log. And remember my, my little trick for remembering well, what goes on the inside, on the top, and on the inside of the bottom? The 1 over 900 is written higher up on the page than 36 is. So 1 over 900 goes here, and the 36, because it's written lower on the page, goes on the lower log. Alrighty, so we notice that this log on the bottom is really nice. We, we can just evaluate this as 6 to what power equals 36. We actually did it over here already. And that power is 2. So that log on the bottom is just going to be 2. So this gives us log base 6 of 5. And then I have log base 6 of 1 over 900. And that whole thing, that second log was divided by 2. Let me just move that 2 to the front so I get a 1 half. Alrighty, and now I have a power in front of this log. So I can bring that power in. Sorry, I can bring this, I have a coefficient in front of the log, I should say. So I can bring that number inside as a power. So that gives me log base 6 of 5 plus log base 6 of 1 over 900 to the 1 half power. And something to the 1 half power means square root. This is the square root of 1 over 900. And square root of 1 over 900 is 1 over 30. Okay, so we're in business now. We got log base 6 of 5 plus log base 6 of, this is 1 over 30. And now I'm adding these two logs, which means I can use another log rule and multiply their insides. We get log base 6 of, if I multiply 5 times 1 over 30, this simplifies nicely. This simplifies to 1 sixth. So we have log base 6 of 1 over 6. So as if you're already pretty comfortable with these, you might already know what this is. But let's say I didn't know. I could say, well, let's let this log base 6 of 1 over 6. I could call this x, and I can rewrite it in exponential form. So this is equivalent to 6 to the x power equals 1 sixth. So 6 to what power equals a sixth? Well, it's got to be negative 1. And that's my answer. My original log expression simplifies to just negative 1.